again, Wayne, the players coming onto the field for this uh, major semi-final between African and Brothers, the lower grade games. In the B grade, the Brothers were successful, 25 points to five, whilst in the C grade, Brothers again running out winners over Kangaroos on both occasions against Kangaroos. Uh, in the C grade, 38 points to 16, and in the under 18, they defeated Suburbs, 16 points to five. The sides will be running onto the field. The brothers, fullback is Chris Taylor. The wingers are Peter Duck and Ross Brown. Setters are Mick Volp and Dale Graham. Five eight is Steve Penny. Halfback is Mick Aegis. Lock forward is Ian Horsfall. Second row is Mick Nader and Peter Shervey. The front rowers are Miles Plum and Adrian Smith with Lori Cavan the hooker. For Atherton, Ian Larkin is the fullback. Mike Douglas and Owen Cleghorn are on the wing. Warren Larkin and Jet Rock. Jack Dunnell is the centres, or are the centres? Oh, we're going well today already. <laughs> Dale Healy is the 5'8", Terry Payne is the halfback, Jeff Moss the lock forward, Dave Duncan and Charlie Martin the second rowers, John Blyton and Peter Smart the prop forwards, with Mark Broadley the hooker. I think Atherton can take out this major semi-final and move straight into the grand final. And to give you his thoughts on the game, it's a very good afternoon to Bob Bignall. Thank you, John. Well, we started off the game pretty well because I wholeheartedly disagree. Uh, as we said, the major semi-final here this afternoon, a big crowd and ideal conditions. And uh, for mine, brothers, I think, uh, have had a pretty good day today. They've uh, won the three lower grades. They've got their best side on the field that they can feel today. And with the pep talk that Stan Williams gave their side prior to the, the match, I feel that uh, whilst the game is proposed to be played in the forwards, brothers have the forwards to match their more experienced counterparts, if I can put it that way, and the back line to, to take the mind in where it counts in the centre. So in what should be a very, very close game, John, very quickly, I think brothers are favoured, in my opinion, to win this one. That's fixed up brothers. Kiss of death. Bignall going for brothers to defeat Atherton. And that'll make it two out of two in the final series. That's right, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure Atherton will be pleased to hear that anyhow. And uh, the play is in, in progress and immediately from the kickoff there's a penalty to Atherton, or sorry, to brothers with uh, Atherton kicking in to touch on the full. And it's brothers in possession with the tap with Miles Plum going to ground on the quarter line in Atherton territory and it's Atherton defending the Severin Street end of the ground and brothers the Ormola Street end of the ground. And also at the same time brothers have lost the ball and it's Atherton in possession as Smart plays the ball to Broadley who runs across field and makes a couple of metres before he's put to ground there by Plum with the assistance of Smith. He gets up and plays the ball to Duncan. On it comes to Moss. Moss puts the head down but Horsell and uh, just are in there quickly to put him to ground. Five metres outside the quarter line he gets up and plays the ball to Healy. Healy kicking for touch on the grandstand side of the field is not too bad either. It bounces awkwardly there for Duck and goes into touch about five metres inside uh, the brothers half and the Tom's going to pack down in that position on the grandstand side of the field. Dale Healy, an important player for Atherton, and Stan Williams giving his players a pep talk before the game. He was uh, quite adamant that they weren't to allow him to run uh, to the extent that they have in games and, uh, just recently. Dale Healy being in top form, ball fed in there by Aegis, taken out by Payne, he gets a long one out to Healy, he steps back inside uh, 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 Penny there, gets a pass away to Ian Larkin, the Larkin was in the gap there but he couldn't get away from the defending tackle there of uh, Shirley, gets up and plays it to Moss, on to Payne to Duncan, straightening it up but Duncan is quickly nabbed there, defending on that occasion was Shirley once again with Aegis and he gets up and plays the ball and from Broadley it goes out to Martin who puts the head down, makes it almost up to the quarter line before he goes to ground and plays it to Broadley on it comes to Blyton, a long one out to Healy, gets it out to Larkin up in the back line, but he's quickly confronted there by Duck as he had to uh, juggle that ball for a moment, and he goes to ground, but they're in the quarter line now in Brothers Territory, Mill all of Parramatta Park, he plays it to Duncan on the Moss, there's a gap there, uh, but it's offside too, is it? No, it's, uh, everyone just stopped there for a moment, it was, could have almost have been a shepherd there as far as Moss was concerned, but he plays the ball to Healy, it's an up and under, down it comes to Taylor, he takes it inside his own goal line, but runs it out and makes a metre or so into play before before he goes to ground, the tackle there by Healy with also Douglas in there. He gets up and he plays the ball to Shervy. And Shervy puts the head down, makes a couple of metres. Uh, hasn't got much room to move there whatsoever. And uh, will stand in the tackle there and play the ball to Aegis. But Aegis has knocked it on at the uh, ruck half there. And it's a little bit of a Donny Brook already. Both sides pressing each other out. And this is what was lacking in the game last week. Uh, by lacking, I don't uh, advocate the bit at all. But uh, there was certainly no fire whatsoever in the game last week between Kangaroos and... 
Yeah, he played last year. Marida. He was going to go Marida, yeah. <laughs> Still, I was glad you were following the football there because I was more interested in the fight because whilst the game was going on, there was a, uh, a heavyweight battle between John Blight and then Miles Plum. And I tell you what, there was a few good rights thrown there, that was for sure. And there's a bit of needle, as you said, that, uh, uh, which is good to see in this particular game. And referee Pete controlling the game here this afternoon has got to keep tight control because uh, we, whilst we know, know a bit of fire is good for the game, we don't want to get out of hand. And the penalty's gone to Brothers, so it's an opportunity for Brothers to run play out of their quarter line. As the tap is taken by Kavanagh, doesn't kick, and he makes it up to the quarter line before the Atherton defence gets up there to put him to ground. In centre field, he gets up and plays it to Smith. Out it comes to Ages. Ages decides to go himself, grab support outside, but elected to put the head down. Makes five or six metres before Broadley puts him to ground. Plays it to Kavanagh. On the stable side of the ground, it goes to Nader, steps off the right foot and tries to straighten it up. But Moss and Martin are in there to put him to ground. He plays it to Kavanagh onto Ages short one to Smith who tries to run around the defence there but Payne's in there to uh, tackle him and with the assistance of Smart they put him to ground. He plays it through this time to Horsfall. Out the pass comes to Shervier. Puts the head down again and uh, the uh, uh, defence is up there quickly to put him to ground. Plays it to Horsfall onto Penny to Ages. Out the cabin. gets one out to Brown. Brown's got a little bit of room to move. He's got Cleghorn in front of him but Cleghorn's equal to the occasion and puts him to ground on the sixth tackle on the halfway mark and the scrum's going to pack down in that position. Brown plenty of pace there notice he didn't have much trouble getting away from young Payne but uh, Cleghorn back there for the kick uh, was able to pick him up and uh, he certainly uh, made that uh, tackle quite well good tactics there by brothers John because uh, Dale Graham did come in for the kick initially as you said the winger dropping back but uh, elected to run the ball and made more ground which is good good work Southerton won the ball too Payne falls onto the base of the scrum and he gets up and plays it to Moss who's from dummy half makes it over the halfway mark before he's put the ground there by Smith and he plays it uh, there to Cleghorn out it comes uh, from Martin a short one there, uh, goes through to Blyton and Blyton goes to ground uh, just inside the uh, the Morosman half and uh, the uh, penalty has gone to Atherton and it'll be Dale Healy who'll come over and kick the touch on the stable side of the field. Kicking the touch, wobbly looking old kick that uh, certainly goes well into touch and a second tap will be taken midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark with uh, John Blyton coming over to tap it. Got support outside in there and gives it away there to Duncan, who puts the head down and uh, needs plenty of attention there to put him to ground too. Shervy and Nader in there to put him to ground. Plays it to uh, Broadly. Out it comes to uh, uh, Blyton and Blyton switching it there on the blind side there to Healy. He's uh, put the ground there. Also, Healy has put the ground with a pretty hefty right arm there, but uh, the referee said that uh, no problem, no harm done. Uh, it was a legitimate tackle, Johnny. Took him up around the shoulder, but uh, uh, here we go again. I, I shouldn't be too critical. Mr. Slattery or Slattery is on the field. The touch judge from the opposite side, and uh, I hope this is not going to be an indication of the game because the referee was right on the spot. And I think referee Pete's firstly telling him to, I saw what happened, so leave it go at that, and I couldn't agree with him more because uh, he was there to see that tackle. Uh, I think the, the, the fellow that came off worse was, was Shervy because uh, Healy got up and played the ball straight away. Well, he actually dropped the ball, but uh, Shervy definitely uh, on the bad end of that tackle. Right, scrum packing down, 20 metres out from the brothers' line. Sydney gets Manly too, Cronulla get to score. Uh, he just puts it in, uh, it's taken out there by Payne, he ducks underneath Aegis there too, but he's put to ground there uh, by a horse who broke from the scrum. He gets up and plays the ball to Moss, out it comes there uh, to Duncan, and Duncan's got the head down, uh, trying to barge his way over, plays it to Broadley, out it comes to Healy, he dummies towards Blyton, eventually gets the pass away there uh, to Duncan, and Duncan dives across and puts the ball down, next to the post, back to first try on the board to Atherton, as you would have heard from the cheers in the background. Let's listen to it again on action replay. Yeah. His way over, plays it to Broadley. Out it comes to Healy, he dummies towards Blyton, eventually gets the pass away there uh, to Duncan, and Duncan dives across and puts the ball down next to the post, back to first try on the board to Atherton. Good kick initially by Healy, but that was virtually a, a, a nice little planned move, a short pass from Healy to, to big John Blyton, and John Blyton found Duncan outside, and what a good pass. Big fella going in the tackle, and Duncan there was bursting onto the ball to go over beside the post. A very important try, a very good first up try for Atherton, and my goodness, even in this first, as I said, four or five minutes, of the first half, they're looking good, and uh, uh, brothers uh, haven't been aided by ball possession. Uh, we all thought that um, uh, Broadley, we know he's a good hooker, but I thought Kavanagh, would, uh, with the assistance of Smith and Plum, would give his side a fair share of the ball. Converted by Dale Healy, so it's 5-0 in favour of him. But Broadley's won the first three scrums here this afternoon, and uh, if he continues to give his side possession, 
my goodness, Southers are up against it. But done it early, and uh, it's good, good to see some good attacks so early in the game. Kevin has had a bad trot as far as crime winning is concerned of, of late. He's a former Cairns hooker, but he certainly hasn't been able to win his fair share of the ball in games to date this season, and well, at least in the last five or six, anyhow. That's right, and um, whilst I, yeah, I thought he might get a 50-50 share of the ball here this afternoon, he's got to do that to give his side any semblance of a chance. Right, kickoff to be taken by McAge is kicking for the grandstand side of the field and uh, puts it down deep into the Atherton territory. It's taken there by Larkin just outside of his own goal line. He's got Douglas with him as he makes it up to the quarter line, but he goes to ground himself in the tackle there of Shervy and Nader, and he gets up and plays the ball to Douglas. Douglas from dummy half goes across field, but Smith in there with Horsfall and also uh, in there to assist with Plum. And just outside the quarter line, he plays it abroadly on to Blyton to Martin. Martin uh, puts the head down once again, and Aegis is in there with Horsfall to put him to ground. They've made about five or six metres in those two tackles. He plays it to Broadley on the pain, reverse to the grandstand side of the field, too smart, he gets a short one there to Moss, uh, Moss had to juggle it for a moment, had nowhere to go, and is quickly put to ground there by Smith, and he'll play the ball too smart, on the grandstand side of the field, it comes to Healy, here comes the kick, it's a grubber, down to Taylor on the halfway mark, he takes it there nicely, gets around Payne there, but he can't get away from Douglas, he goes to ground, five metres inside Atherton territory, Douglas in there with the in Larkin to put him to ground, plays it to Duck, he'll have a run away from Dummy Half, and Douglas once again, with Duncan over the top, putting the ground on the 10 metre mark in Atherton territory, plays it to Kavanagh on to Aegis, he dummies towards Plum, comes back himself, gets away from a tackle there by Smart, but can't get away from Blyton, 15 metres inside Atherton territory, plays it to Kavanagh, on it comes from Penny to Horsfall, and Horsfall put the ground, a good tackle by Payne underneath, he plays it to Kavanagh, on it comes from Penny to Nader, Nader trying to clap on the pace, has nowhere to go, but as the defence came across, Duncan in particular with the assistance of Healy, he plays it to Kavanagh, on it comes to Dale Graham uh, shapes up the kick, but it's offside Atherton right in front of the post and a penalty, uh, it's gift two points and uh, Dale Graham, in a very unaccustomed role, walked over and threw the ball to Peter Duck. <laughs> yes, I don't know what was going through Dale Graham's mind then because uh, he had the ball, he was about to actually put up a high up and under, which would have been interesting, but uh, definitely Pete right on the spot and Martin was definitely offside there and this should be, as John said, an easy two points for others which should open their account here this afternoon. But uh, already I can see Dale Healy supporting a, uh, a nice little blood nose and uh, a few other chaps uh, a few scars so this hasn't been any any one of a uh, uh, very very calm four or five correction five or six minutes here in the first half there's been quite a bit of bit and uh, i think the players now are starting to settle down and play a bit of football which is good to see interesting to see duck kicking for brothers uh, in a big game like this i'd still be a little bit uh, keen to have dale um dale Grime kicking for me Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. John, it was interesting there, just in, in your call, that uh, uh, Craw Crawford, the linesman, was right on the sideline there, and Duck's put that one over, so it's 5-2, right on the sideline. When, when Duck was tackled by Healy, Duck it up and gave Healy a bit of a clip behind the ear hole for his, uh, for his you know, good nature. Now, any other linesman, I was not trying to be silly, would have run on the field then because it was reasonably blatant, but I thought that was good, good to let the play go on because it didn't hurt him, and uh, that's the sort of thing we like to see. That's right, 5-2 now in favour of Atherton. Brothers sitting back with a goal, but uh, they certainly haven't had much uh, to do as far as the uh, attack is concerned. Healy kicking off, and once again it's a long one, almost goes into touch, but Shervy takes it on his chest and makes it just outside the quarter line before he goes to ground. He plays it to Smith, who runs across field from dummy half, uh, 15 metres short of the halfway mark as he goes to ground in duck and stackle. Plays it to Kavanaugh, under ages, that's a short one there to Plum, bursting onto the ball, but he has uh, Healy underneath him, and also over the top there goes Moss, he plays it on five metres short of the halfway mark there to Kavanaugh, onto ages. He comes uh, back to the grandstand side of the field, but he's lost ground in that process, and he's put the ground there by Smart and Broadley. 15 metres short of the halfway mark, he plays it to Smith on to Nader, steps off the right foot once again and tries to straighten it up, but there's plenty of defence in there, Blyton and Moss in particular, and he plays it this time to Kavanaugh on to Dale Graham. He floats a long one out there to duck with a bit of room to move, but the referee right on the spot there says the pass is forward, and the... Scrum is going to pack down. Uh, referee Pete then ruled the ball wasn't the ball wasn't intentionally thrown forward, and uh, Duck must have been onside, and that pass just floated forward. So that's, that was his ruling, John. That's the scrum. 
Right, scrum packing down 15 metres short of the halfway mark in Brothers Territory. Age is feeding the scrum. Interesting age is playing halfback. He's a North Queensland 5'8". Uh, and uh, Penny, uh, who's playing 5'8 for Brothers, is a North Queensland halfback. But he's won the scrum, and it's Duck who comes up with it. He plays the ball quickly to Ages, who runs away from dummy half, and makes it to five metres short of the halfway mark before Broadley puts him to ground. Plays it to Kavanaugh, on it comes from Smith. He gets a short one out there, which is loose along the ground. It's eventually picked up by Kavanaugh, but that'll be a knock-on, and the scrum's going to pack down just on the brother side of halfway mark. Five to uh, five minutes of play uh, gone, or a little bit more, and uh, the scrum packing down uh, still nothing in the game whatsoever with Atherton enjoying a territorial advantage if nothing else 5-2 uh, in the lead as well uh, the scrum packing down out it comes Payne's way as he goes the open side he draws the defence there gets a pass away to Healy he got it away a little bit quickly there too Healy couldn't handle it it's eventually picked up there by Ian Larkin on the halfway mark and he's quickly put the ground by Plum he plays it to Warren Larkin out it comes to Healy offside brothers on this occasion and it's a penalty to Atherton an opportunity for Healy to drive play deep back into the uh, brothers half to all in Sydney. To all in Sydney. Mm. Yeah. Good. To all in Brisbane. Ah. Five two here. Ball goes into touch midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark. Cleghorn takes a second tap, has a run himself, makes the mandatory 10 metres before he goes to ground and Kavanagh's tackle plays it up broadly. Had to go back to retrieve that for a moment, gets it away to Blyton. On it comes into Smart and Smart put the ground just outside the quarter line and he'll get up and play the ball to Broadley. Out it comes to Payne onto Healy, running across field and serves it back inside there to Warren Larkin. He slipped the tackle there of ages. He's up to the quarter line before he goes to ground the tackle there by Penny and also Shervey. Plays it up broadly, still the grandstand side of the field, it comes to Martin, onto Healy, a short one there to Donnell, but Donnell's driven into touch there by Plum, and 20 metres out from the line in uh, Brothers Territory, the scrum will pack down 5-2, and I think that uh, Donnell would have been better off coming back inside there, at least trying to uh, keep the uh, play alive. That's right, it was a, a fine tackle by Miles Plum of all people, the big front rower coming of course in cover defence. John, a, a slight blue here this afternoon, uh, if I can maybe bold to say this, but the time clock is not working here for this major semi-final, which is a disadvantage to both sides. Right, and uh, Brothers have won the scrum, and Horsfall gets up and plays the ball out. It comes to Shervy, who runs wide of the ruck and slips one defender there. It is uh, Martin that eventually goes to ground and Payne and Moss's tackle, plays it to ages on. It comes to Penny, a short one to Plum, bursting onto the ball once again, but he doesn't make any ground on this occasion as Moss is in there to put him to ground with the assistance of Healy. Plays it to Kavanagh from Dummy he thought he spotted a gap but uh, there was none there as it closed quickly anyhow as Martin and Blyton came across to put him to ground he plays at the plum on to ages a long one out to Graham he puts up a little chip over the uh, defence it's down there and Mar uh, Douglas comes in for it and uh, it's picked up there by Payne but he's offside and uh, the referee has spotted it too and the penalty goes to Brothers uh, thought for one horrible moment he wasn't going to call that <laughs> actually I just about blew the whistle I had in my pocket <laughs> the referee Pete uh, just played to see if there's any advantage there and rightly ruled uh, uh, offside position by the Atherton player and a good decision. Volt kicks for touch in the grandstand side of the field. Doesn't make much ground. Uh, puts it into touch uh, five metres inside Atherton territory in the second tap taken by Kavanagh. He gets it away to Smith. Dummy toward Kavanagh on the run around. Gives it away to Shervey who goes straight into John Blyton there and goes to ground quickly to 15 metres inside Atherton territory. It's raked back in the play. The ball there by Blyton. Smart's in possession. He goes to blind side. Gets it away to Duncan under Broadley. He's got Douglas outside him. He's come back inside but Broadley held onto the ball and goes to ground 15 metres inside Brothers territory. Horse for the tackler. He plays it to Douglas. Gets a shocking pass which is picked up nicely there by Duncan. Duncan trying to clap on the pace then. Slipped the tackle by Kavanagh but can't get away from Shervy. He plays the ball and this time it is Shervy who rakes it back and the referee is uh, pinched uh, broadly for not playing the ball. Trying to rake it back actually with his hand after he, uh, it was raked back by Shervy. Uh, what, uh, what, what happened then? The ball was raked back by the brother's player and broadly died on it and naturally he was in front of the player that handled the ball first so he was offside. Right. Okay, going into touch, uh, just short of the halfway mark, and... Gee, we're getting technical today, aren't we? Yeah, that's the correct ruling, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bickle. <laughs> yeah, right. The second tap taken there by Kavanagh. Makes it up to the halfway mark. Now he plays it to Smith. On it comes to Plum. He uh, goes straight for the referee who uh, 
Stuart White for a moment, but he goes to ground on the halfway mark and broadly tackle. Plays it to duck on it comes to way just to Shervy who straightens it up and can makes it up the halfway mark before he goes to ground in a tackle there by Martin with the assistance of Blyton. He plays it to Kavanaugh who comes from ages to Penny. He gets inside one defender there, gets a pass away to Nader who's trying to wrestle himself free to get the pass away, but he goes to ground and Larkin's tackle and plays it to Penny on to Ages. He's got support outside and Dale Graham steaming onto the ball, but he's put the ground there by Payne, 10 metres inside Atherton Territory. Plays it to Ages. Out it comes to Penny. Gets a long one out to Shervy. Looks for someone outside. No one there whatsoever. Has to go himself and goes to ground on the sixth tackle and the tackle there by Broadley. Eight metres inside Atherton Territory. Atherton five, brothers two. That's the score at Parramatta Park. Here's an announcement to all visitors. We take you back to Parramatta Park and John O'Brien. No change here either in the scrums packing down on the quarter line. It's one there by ages. It comes the open side and straightens it up and uh, slings Penny off his feet as well as he goes to ground the tackle there by Larkin and Moss. He plays it to Penny. Out it comes to Horsfall. Horsfall couldn't handle it. Has to go back to retrieve it. And he's quickly put the ground there by Payne. Midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark at Atherton Territory. Plays it to Nader. On it comes to Plum who puts the head down. Trying to make progress up the centre there. Can't do so. And plays it to Kavanagh. On it comes to Ages. Out on the stable side of the field. It goes to Penny. Gets it away to Taylor. He's left it behind him. It's picked up there by Dale Graham. But the referee said that he was offside and the uh, penalty has gone to Atherton and uh, the kick will be taken. The opportunity for them now to get back into Brothers Territory. And it wasn't offside actually. Uh, the, the ruling uh, I think eventually was I can't even make a comment, but it was a penalty, that's amazing. <laughs> right, and uh, on the halfway mark, the second tap's taken, and immediately they've lost the ball, a smart juggle a little, it's picked up by Horsfall on, it comes from ages to Penny, he had support outside, but couldn't get away from the defence there, as Larkin was in quickly to put him to ground on the halfway mark, he plays it to ages on the short line, it comes to Shervy, straightening it up, but Martin's underneath him, and over the top goes Healy, five metres inside Atherton Territory, plays it to Kavanagh, on to ages to Penny to Graham, outside to Volt with a bit of room to move, no, he hasn't, none at all, has he in there to put him the ground was Larkin with the assistance of Broadley just inside uh, Atherton half he plays the ball to Taylor slips away from dummy half has uh, the pain around his feet but puts him to ground uh, five metres inside brother's territory Atherton uh, territory I should say plays the ball out it comes from Penny a long one out there is picked up there by Dale Graham but he's knocked it on and the scrum's going to pack down just inside brother's half now for that knock on and uh, brothers aren't looking particularly organised when they have got the ball. Uh, very disorganised in this last uh, few tackles they have had the ball because Kevin has come back in the scrums. They're four all now and brothers haven't used the ball at all. And uh, it's now a penalty. Penalty to brothers. Feet across in the scrum there as far as the uh, Atherton front row is concerned. And so the penalty will be taken with Mick Rolp kicking for touch on the stable side of the ground, electing to kick into the wind. And Fine's touch, yes, uh, the good torpedo punt there, put, to put something on the board now, as he taps it and gives it away to Smith, but offside Atherton, another 10 metres, and uh, that's uh, unpardonable, that one, as the tap's now taken there by Smith, and caught Atherton, and wears too, because he made 10 metres, and he's now only 5 metres out from the line, as he plays the ball to Ages, from dummy half, Ages uh, trying to wrestle his way free, gets a pass away there to Brown, and Brown's very close on the uh, touch line there, but he goes to ground the tackle there by Duncan, plays it there to Smith, out it comes to a long one there from Penny goes out to Plum, he can't handle it left it behind him, it's loose along the ground it's eventually picked up there by Shervy for Brothers but the referee said we're going to play the knock on on the quarter line and once again Brothers doing nothing at all with the ball squandering position there, the whole back line out and Miles Plum wasn't a difficult pass he, uh, he should have handled that one and he had backs out a scoring opportunity missed 
shouldn't have even been there anyhow with the backs lined out but uh, that's uh, another story ball comes out to Affett and wave at the referee says we're going to have it in again as Payne throws it in uh, the scrum once again scrum screwing around it's an Affett and ball but it's a penalty immediately to Brothers once again uh, feet across there as far as the Affett and front row is concerned and a differential penalty otherwise it would have been a gift two points but the second tap will be or the tap will be taken there by Aegis he uh, goes uh, across there looking up a support finds it also in Taylor who is uh, burning onto the ball there but tried to duck underneath one defender but he couldn't get away from Ian Larkin plays it to Kavanagh on it comes out from ages a short one to plum but he's got plenty of defense there in front of him smart in particular to put him to ground 20 meters out he plays it to Kavanagh on a penny a short one there to Horsfall can't get away there from Healy and he'll stand in the tackle as Larkin came into assist he plays it to Kavanagh runs a couple of steps gets a pass away to Penny he dummies towards the port gets it back inside to Sturdy and Sturdy driving to the line puts it down so about five metres to the right-hand side of the upright. Let's listen to it again on action replay. Tack always luck and came into assist. He plays it to Kavanagh. Runs a couple of steps. Gets a pass away to Penny. He dummy towards the port. Gets it back inside to Sturdy. And Sturdy driving to the line. Puts it down. So about five metres to the right-hand side of the upright. Defences even look like uh, cracking. And uh, up until this particular stage, their defence has been exceptionally good. Peter Ducks converted the try. So Brothers have hit the front for the tune of seven points to five. And uh, it's up to Athens now to see if they can not get back in of the game but hold that defensive pattern because it's been a pretty good solid 20 in my estimation anyway 22 23 minutes of play here in the first half uh, kick off coming back to the halfway mark and Dale Healy kicking off for Atherton. A shallow one this time as it goes down. Bounces awkwardly for Duck. He can't handle it. Loose along the ground and is picked up by another brother's player and uh, that's got to be a knock on. And uh, the scrum's going to pack down. Shervy it was who eventually dived on that ball. And the scrum's going to pack down 15 metres inside brother's territory with uh, Aegis feeding the scrum on the grandstand side of the field. Once again, losing the ball on the first tackle. Admittedly, it was an awkward bounce, but he didn't even look as though he was going to take it. It's taken out of the scrum there by Aegis, but it's a penalty this time. Uh, not retiring Nick Aegis, and uh, rightfully so, too. Did not he? Actually, I think he even realised that, but he, he thought, oh, well, I'll have a go at it anyhow. Put it in, took it out, and started to run. <laughs> That's right, too. <laughs> and uh, the penalty goes to Atherton, and uh, Healy kicking for touch on the grandstand side of the field, finds it to 20 metres out from the line, and now an opportunity for Atherton to hit back. Let's see what they can do as far as attack is concerned. It's tapped by Martin, gives it away to Blighton, back to Martin on the run around, but he goes nowhere there as Horsfall comes in to put him to ground. He stands in a tackle, plays it to Duncan on, it comes there to Smart. He just stops for a moment, he tries to get away from Penny there, but Plum's also in to put him to ground, still 20 metres out. He plays it up broadly on the grandstand side of the field. It comes to Blighton, who straightens it up, and offside brothers right in front of the face, and two points for sure. And they certainly can ill afford that. A fundamental error by the brothers outside, uh, say back then, Adrian Smith there is a forward out amongst the back line. And this is a gift two points for Dale Healy. Well, it should be anyway. <laughs> We've said this a few times earlier in this season. But he should be able to kick this without any problem. Uh, whilst that penalty is to the fore, I think that's, uh, um, I want to say, dirty, which is good to see. <laughs> and Healy's missed it. <laughs> yeah, so much for that gift two points. The number of kicks that have been missed from in front or near in front this season is unbelievable, isn't it? You could have had a bit of a, what, the old semi-final uh, jitters because that wasn't a very good kick at all. No, and uh, the drop kick taken there uh, by Douglas inside his own half. He cuts on the pace over the 10-metre mark. He goes, puts the shoulder into Penny and makes it almost to the halfway mark before he goes to ground. Plays it to Moss, who runs across field and makes it up to the halfway mark this time. And Penny comes underneath to put him to ground. Plays it to Broadley. On it comes to Blighton. A short one there to Duncan on the burst. He uh, can't get away from the defence there as Aegis comes underneath and Horsfall over the top. But they're in brothers' territory now as he plays it to Broadley. On a pain, a long one out there to Healy. A quick pass to Larkin. Ian Larkin that he can't get away from the defence as Kavanagh and Shervy combined to put him to ground still on the halfway mark he plays it to Smart on it comes to Martin who bumps off Nader no he doesn't Nader clings to him and he goes to ground five metres inside Brothers Territory plays it to Broadley on the pain out it comes to Healy a grubber kick for touch on the grass down side of the field and once again Duck got a shocking down and uh, taps it back infield but the referee and the touch judge both agree on the fact that he went into touch as he had that ball and the scrum's going to pack down just inside the quarter line and poor old Peter Duck hasn't had the best of luck as far as bounces are concerned in the last couple of kicks no, I think he's tried to think he's a soccer goalkeeper instead of a winger because some of the things he's had has been unreal yeah. <laughs> and uh, incorrect feeding there uh, by Mick Aegis and a penalty once again to Atherton 
and an opportunity for them to mount another attack on the brothers try line. First try in Sydney, it's Manly 5 with a kick to come, Cronulla 2. Dale Healy kicking for touch on the grandstand side of the field, finds it, uh, doesn't make much ground but and uh, just gives them a little bit of time to get themselves organised as Douglas takes a second tap, runs across field, has a bit of a run himself but only half-hearted about it and Horsfall comes in to put him to ground, 20 metres out from the line, he plays it to Broadley on to Blyton, he gets a one out there too, Duncan who slips the defence there of Penny but he can't get away from Dale Graham and he goes to ground, 15 metres out from the line, Shervy in there also, plays it a smart on, it comes from Payne to Healy who steps off the left foot, tries to straighten it up, gets a pass away to Warren Larkin who comes back infield but in there to put him to ground was Volpin also Penny plays it to Broadley on it comes to Martin he spots a gap there but it's closed quickly and Kavanagh puts him to ground 15 metres out he plays it as smart on a Blyton he uh, dummies to reverse it back inside that gets it away to Duncan and Duncan's very close to the line before he's put to ground he plays it on the six tackle to Healy quick hands out to Martin there was an overlap there but good work there by Dale Graham as he came in to crunch the Atherton the player and uh, he's lost the ball also and his brother's in possession as Mick Ages gets up and plays it to Sherry he runs away from Dummy Half, makes five or six metres, just settling the play down for a moment and allow them time to get organised. He plays it to Cavanaugh on to Bl uh, Plum. Plum goes straight up the centre, but Blyton's in there to drive him back in defence. And he'll play the ball still only 15 metres out from the line to Cavanaugh on to Ages, a short one to Horsfall. But there's no gap there once again, as uh, this time uh, Payne and also Duncan combined to put him to ground. That Dummy Half is uh, Cavanaugh. He slips at a fence there of Duncan, but he can't get away as he gets the pass back there to a horse for it. He's upended by Martin. Outside the quarter line now. He plays it at Kavanagh. On it comes to Dale Graham. A towering punt. Goes into touch on the floor. Only by a couple of metres. But then uh, it's a play will to go back uh, midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark inside Brothers Territory. It's Brothers 7. Atherton 5. That's the score at Parramatta Park. Here is a more... getting up and playing it to Healy on the Blyton. He's got support outside but puts the head down, goes himself and stands in a tackle there as he can't get the pass back and that's a six tackle. Five metres out from the line and the scrum's going to pack down almost right in front of the posts. Not much play remaining in the first half. No, John, I didn't take the uh, uh, exact time. I, I, I'd estimate about eight minutes to go. Right, it's uh, fed there by ages, taken out by ages. Referee not happy, we're going to have it in again, he says. 7-5 in favour of Brothers and it comes out cleanly uh, Brothers way this time but the referee said that it was uh, given a little bit of a help there by Mick Ages as he put it into the second row so the penalty will be taken and uh, it'll be a tap it's tapped there uh, by uh, Healy who tries to straighten that up and he's very close to the line before he goes to ground there and Plum's tackle plays it up broadly quick hand out it comes from Blight reversing it back inside to Duncan and he's almost over the line but he's pushed back his uh, momentum wasn't sufficient to carry him over and he's only a foot out as he gets up and plays it to Smart on it comes there to Martin who ducks underneath the defence there of Aegis but Aegis is equal to the occasion and he puts him to ground plays it to Healy from Dummy Half try to get the pass down or the ball down, he can't do so, plays it to Martin, quick hands, out to Blyton, standing in a tackle, trying to get it back, he gets it back to, out it comes from Broadley, but the pass is forward, and the penalty goes to Brothers, and that was a narrow squeak as far as Brothers were concerned. 
half time in Sydney it's, it's mainly five to another two. The referee Peter again right on the spot having a pretty good first half here, here in this first semi-final and John Blyton queried that decision but I don't think Broadley would have scored anyway John there was enough defence there to push him back over the line but uh, good attack by Atherton once again. Second tap taken midway between the quarter line the halfway mark there by Kavanagh gets it away to Smith he makes it up to the 10 metre mark before he goes to ground in the smart and Broadley's tackle plays it this time uh, to Kavanagh out it comes to Aegis gets it away to Horsfall who tries to put the head down and get through a tackle there of Payne can't do so and Duncan comes into assist five metres short of the halfway mark plays it to Aegis on it comes to Penny he is propped for a moment tries to accelerate and get away from the defence but Payne once again into putting the ground still short of the halfway mark he plays it to Kavanagh out it comes to Nader trying to step back inside stands in a tackle gets it away to Volpe and Volpe uh, spotted a gap for a moment but broadly puts him to ground still short of the halfway mark now he plays it to Kavanagh out the pass comes to Smith and Smith puts the head down makes it over the halfway mark on this occasion he gets up and plays the ball to Kavanagh at dummy half Kavanagh has a little bit of a run makes about 10 metres too and uh, oh he's still going makes it almost up to the quarter line before he is eventually put to ground on the sixth tackle Martin was the tackler and the scrum's going to pack down now inside Atherton territory vital ground there deep into Atherton territory scrum fed there by Payne taken out by Aegis we're having it again says the referee uh, Payne has to go over and uh, retrieve the ball as it's put in by Payne, taken out by Payne too, has to go back a few metres as he claps on the pace, gets away there from Aegis, who slipped, gets the pass away to Cleghorn, it comes back inside, gets away from Aegis, and he goes to ground and Horsfall's tackle eventually, just outside the quarter line, he plays it to Moss, ducks underneath Horsfall's tackle, but Horsfall comes again to put him to ground, and he go, will play the ball to Broadley, out to Blyton, out it comes to Duncan, who claps on the pace, gets away from Penny, loses the ball too, loose along the ground, and Penny's come up with it, four brothers, and he'll play it, uh, just, oh, no, he won't. There'll be a couple of punches thrown in the meantime and uh, there will be a penalty here to Brothers almost certainly right in front and I would say that this will be two points. Yeah, time out there, referee Pete, signal time out. There must have been something going into that tackle because uh, Penny is still on the ground there and uh, he's requiring ambulance attention. But uh, referee Pete, once again, right on the spot, uh, he, he had no hesitation virtually in doing a, a, a Greg Hartley. He was right in the middle of that little bit of attempted nearly, uh, right on the uh, spot, everything under control. And uh, we, I agree with you, John, I'd say this is a certain penalty to Brothers and should be a, a gift two points. Yes, I, I, shouldn't, I, I shouldn't keep using that word, should I? Give two points, because every time I say that, they miss. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Especially seeing you've gone for brothers. Penny, a very dangerous player with a little bit of room to move. Uh, got a good turn of pace. He hasn't seemed to have shown the same acceleration of late that he showed. Oh, no, he's got no penalty at all. He's going to play it. Plays it to Kavanagh. Out it comes to Aegis. Aegis has got broadly underneath him, and over the top goes Martin to put him to ground. Uh, 15 metres inside the upper and half. He plays it to Kavanagh. He taps it. He goes himself and gets the... Oh, no, he dummies and gets the pass away to Aegis eventually. But Aegis is put to ground there by Healy. Inside the quarter line now they are, and he plays it to Kavanagh. Six more tackles as it was tapped by an upper player. Kavanagh and he gets it away to Horsfall. He's got Payne around him and Payne eventually bulldozes him into the ground and he plays the ball 20 metres out to Duck. On it comes to Plum charging onto the ball but Broadley goes underneath and over the top goes Douglas. 15 metres out from the line now and it's a chance for Brothers to put on a bit of pressure. Broadley, uh, sorry, uh, it comes from Cavanaugh to Aegis onto Petty. Out to Graham. He couldn't handle it. Knocked back, says the referee but he's quickly put to ground there by Healy. In centre field on the quarter line he plays it to Smith onto Penny. Out it comes to Volk with a bit of room to move. He tries to skirt around the defence there but Larkin comes in with the assistance of Danello they put him to ground he plays it to Brown out it comes to Taylor he's got too much pace gets away from Smart slips a tackle there by Martin going again but he's uh, put up the uh, put the ground there eventually by Ian Larkin with the assistance also of Dale Healy on the sixth tackle he plays it to Kavanagh on the penny reversing it two ages out it comes to Nader he's met the heavily there by Duncan and uh, he uh, upends him eventually to put him to ground with the assistance of Dunnell that's the sixth tackle 20 metres out from the line. His brother seven leading up at and five. That's the score at Parramatta Park. Farmers.
attacking the Atherton line as uh, Shervy plays the ball to Wages. He gets a pass away to Brown. Brown's bumped off Cleghorn and he strolls across and puts the ball down. Ten metres in from touch. That's a try to Brothers. Let's listen to it again on action replay. Shervy plays the ball to Wages. He gets a pass away to Brown. Brown's bumped off Cleghorn and he strolls across and puts the ball Duck with the kick placed. Back to the quarter line. I said I'd rather have Dale Graham kicking for me in a big game like this. And uh, Duck uh, has kicked one out of one. Two out of two now. Yep. Uh, no mistake. Straight through the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peter Duck doesn't mind telling us about it afterwards either. A very, very flamboyant sort of player, Peter Duck, and uh, I think he'd, he'd be feeling very, very pleased with himself at the moment. And so would uh, Stan Williams, because a lead of 12 points to five time break is a pretty handy one. Right we'll to kick off there, a shallow one taken by Dale Graham on the 10 metre mark, and he's quickly put to ground by Cleghorn, plays it to Brown, out it comes to Plum, who puts the head down, takes on the outfit and forwards, but they're equal to it, and they put him to ground, still short of the halfway mark. He plays it to Kavanagh, on to Penny, out it comes there to Nader, who tries to clap on the pace, but Healy and Larkin in there to combine to put him to ground, they sling him to the ground also. 10 metres short of the halfway mark in Brothers Territory, plays it to Smith, on to Payne, gets uh, Penny, gets it away there to Shervey, as Shervey he slips the tackle of Martin, but he can't get away from Blyton. On the blind side, it comes from Kavanagh to Smith, and John Blyton had Smith lined up there around about 15 metres, 15 metres away, and he came across field at a charge and puts him to ground right on the half-time siren, and the siren, it wasn't working, and uh, the players leave the field for half-time with the Brothers 12 and Atherton 5, and we'll be back shortly with Bob Bignall's half-time summary. Yesterday, I know painfully. Yeah, 
Oh, gee whiz, I didn't know you gambled at all, John. I, I had no idea that you, you tiddled. Yeah, well, I came home from the Gordonville yesterday bleeding from the hip kick. Yes, that's right. Oh, good. What a, what a shock and surprise. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, and uh, the back in progress here, and uh, the scrum packing down, and Aegis takes the ball away there for uh, Brothers as he makes it over the quarter line into Atherton Territory, and he goes to ground and plays the ball to Smith. Out it comes to Penny, out to Hood Graham. He gets the pass away to Taylor in the movement to Volt. Out it comes to Brown. He's got the only Cleghorn to beat, but uh, this time, Cleghorn puts him to ground, 20 metres out from the line, he plays it to, uh, to uh, Volp, out the pass comes to Plum, who puts the head down, and he's put to ground uh, 10 metres out from the Atherton line, at dummy half is Brown, gets the pass away there uh, to Penny, who props, comes back the blind side, he gets the pass away to Volp, and Volp gets around Cleghorn once again, and dives across and puts it down in the corner, and uh, Cleghorn's having a shocking day here as far as defence is concerned on the wing, let's listen to it again on action replay, Volp, out the pass comes to to Plum who puts the head down and he's put the ground uh, 10 metres out from the Atherton line. At dummy half is Brown, gets the pass away there uh, to Penny who props, comes back the blind side, he gets the pass away to Volt and Volt gets around Cleghorn once again and dives across and puts it down in the corner. And what a very important try for Brothers. Three minutes into this first half here, they won the first two scrums in this second half. Christian, second half, not first half. Second half and good work there by young Penny down the blind side again and Nick Volt in position and Cleghorn, a shocking attempt at a tackle. Actually, Brown uh, just nearly got round him just a movement before, but uh, Cleghorn missed Volt absolutely blindly and uh, Volt was able to score in the corner. And what an important try, as I said. 15-5 now in favour of Brothers with the kick to come. And uh, my goodness, if they get beaten from here, the same as what I said this about Mar <laughs> Mariba leading Kangaroos last week, 15-3. I can't see Atherton getting back now, but rugby league's a funny game. Yes, and Duck has this <coughs> placed. On the quarter line, comes in, hits it, to tell you what, it doesn't look real bad in the air either, but it floats a little bit to the right, and it's no goal, so it's 15 points to five, and still two converted tries of difference, and Atherton really keen to get back into the action, and well, they might be too. Good uh, run there by Volk, uh, stood Cleghorn up, he accelerated, and uh, just uh, there was no answer as far as Cleghorn was concerned. The kick off there taken uh, by Kavanagh, uh, that he had a little bit of trouble handling it, and Smart's clean there quickly to put him to ground. Plays it to Nader, out it comes to Plum, straight up the centre goes Plum, and Moss and uh, this time Martin combined to put him to ground. At dummy half is Kavanagh, out from ages it goes to Horsfall, who has a little pain underneath him once again, and pain with the assistance off Healy, put him to ground. On the 10 metre mark inside Brothers Territory, he plays the ball. Uh, there to Shervy, out it comes to Aegis to Penny, he dummies, he gets the pass away there to Volt, up the tuck line he goes, the Cleghorn comes from behind and puts him to go, a nice tackle this time, at 10 metres inside Bafferton territory, he was also pushed into touch there as he tried to get up and play the ball by Ian Larkin and the referees awarded a penalty to Brothers and Volt indicates he's going to kick for touch on the grandstand side of the field, only had a metre or so to work with so no angle and doesn't make much ground, the second tap will be taken by Kavanagh on the 10 metre mark, he puts the head down, has a run himself, uh, tries to go across field, but Duncan tracked him across there to put him to ground and plays the ball to Smith. Out it comes to Aegis on to Nader. Uh, Data has uh, got uh, plenty of defence there in front of him and Moss is uh, eventually put him to ground. At dummy half is uh, Kavanagh out to Penny on it, comes to Sherby to Graham. He runs across field there to Brown. Brown's got away from Cleghorn once again, but he... Uh, t uh, Ankle tapped him there, and he makes it over the quarter line, and Blyton comes in to put him to ground. Plays it there to Chevy on it, comes to Penny to Smith, and uh, he's running across field, uh, tries to break the defence, but across there was Moss to put him to ground with the assistance also of Martin. Plays it at Kavanagh from dummy half, straight up the centre he goes, he's only 10 metres out from the line on the sixth tackle, he gets up and plays the ball forward, and diving for the line, and he's got it down to an extra try. Another try to Brothers, let's listen to it again. Spanish tries to break the defence, but across there was Moss to put him to ground with the assistance also of Martin. Plays it at Kavanagh from dummy half, straight up the centre he goes, he's only 10 metres out from the line on the sixth tackle. He gets up and plays the ball forward, and diving for the line, and he's got it down to an extra try. 20 points to five after six minutes in the second half. Uh, the game is all but over for Athens. And Peter Ducks added the extra, so it's 20 points to five. And as you said, it's almost uh, shut the gate all, though it's uh, only, th only three converted tries. And it was 15-3 last week between Kangaroos and Mariba, so anything can happen in this game of rugby league.
The kick will be taken by Dale Healy, kicking for the grandstand side of the field. Once again, it's a shallow one, and it's not going to go 10 metres, and Cleghorn uh, goes through and puts uh, his hand to the ball, so it's a penalty, two brothers. Didn't go the 10 metres, and the penalty will be taken uh, right from the centre of the field. I wonder if um, brothers detect the weakness on the uh, left wing here of uh, Cleghorn because they seem to be directing play uh, this way uh, uh, a considerable amount in the second half. I think Cleghorn, uh, he came on as a replacement in the Atherton side for Perestini. I think uh, Cleghorn at this particular moment would uh, like to be back in the dressing room, John. Sure. Uh, the uh, penalty uh, taken and the uh, play is uh, underway with uh, Volk getting the pass away there to Brown. And he's put the ground by Cleghorn midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark. He plays it. It goes back to Taylor. He gets away from Healy, but he can't get away there from Duncan. And he goes to ground on the 10-metre mark inside Atherton Territory. Plays the ball to Brown at dummy half. Out the pass comes to Smith. He's got the port outside. Gets a short one there to Plum. But he's crashed into the ground there by uh, uh, smart it was and uh, he gets up and plays the ball there to Kavanagh on the way just reversing it once again to this wing gets it away to Smith on it comes to Brown coming back infield and he goes to ground and Martin's tackle uh, just short of that quarter line he plays it there to Smith on it comes to away just to Penny out to Graham he's uh, clapping on the pace got Payne in front of him and Moss also also Blyton in there plenty of defence on that occasion midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark he'll get up and play the ball to Kavanagh very slowly, I might add. Plays it to Kavanagh now. Out it comes there to uh, Nader, reversing it once again. Uh, this grandstand wing gets it away to away. Just a short one to Volt. He gets a pass out there to Brown. Uh, but he's quickly put the ground there. Good cover defence there uh, by Martin. Gets up and plays the ball to Shervy. On it comes to Nader. He gets a pass away to Kavanagh. Looking to try to get his hands free and get rid of the ball. But he's got rid of it all right. And it's Atherton in possession as it is Healy who gets up and plays it. He plays it to Duncan. Slips away from Dummy Half. Just the settler and goes to ground and a tackle there by Shervey. On it comes from the dummy half to Broadley and he makes five or six metres up to the quarter line before he bumps off the tackle there of Nader and goes to ground in Plum's tackle. At dummy half is uh, Healy. Out it comes here to Blyton and Blyton has knocked it on and uh, that is a little bit of frustration as far as Atherton is concerned. Uh, they're going bad enough as it is. And Big John Blyton just stood there. He wasn't expecting that ball. It went straight to him and he went straight down again right in front of him and a uh, very, very bad fundamental error from John. Payne <laughs> to feed the ball on the quarter line inside Atherton Territory. 25 in favour of Brothers and a penalty immediately there uh, to Atherton. I didn't see the signal for the penalty, but uh, it's a little bit of a... Uh, could have been for a slight altercation in the front row because I saw a head come up pretty quickly on the tight side there, so I think there could have been a nice little right hook. Yes, he's since signalled that it was a head butt there in the scrum and the penalty's taken and has driven into touch there midway bill on the 10 metre mark actually inside Brothers Territory inside Atherton Territory, John plays it to uh, Martin, on it comes out of Blyton, he gets one from Jervie after he got rid of that ball, but it's offside brothers and the second penalty will be taken back there on the halfway uh, mark now, and uh, Healy puts the ball into touch and almost out of the quarter line now, the second tap will be taken there by Atherton, Cleghorn it is, he'll take the tap takes the tap, runs himself, up he goes, uh, runs towards the touch line, gets over the quarter line, goes to ground the tackle there by Smith, plays it up broadly, out it comes to Blyton, he gets it away there to Smart, and he's lost it, it is loose along the ground, it's eventually picked up there by Moss, but it's a knock-on that'll be played on the quarter line, and once again on the first tackle. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, not so much nerves creeping in there, but a bit of mishandling by both the uh, Hathen and Prop forwards there, Smart and Blyton, they can ill afford this loss of position, especially on the first and second tackle. And Brothers have won the ball as they just goes the open side, but breaking quickly from that scrum was Moss, and Healy comes over the top to put him to ground, just outside the Brothers quarter line, he plays it to Horsfall. From dummy half he goes, plenty of defence there, Martin goes underneath, over the top goes Payne and Healy, uh, just outside the quarter line, dummy half is Kavanagh, gets it away there to Graham, and he's bombed it this time. Looks like Rovers cricket side. In Sydney, it's yeah, Manly 13, Cronulla 4. Yeah, exactly, because we didn't drop a catch yesterday. But uh, look what's coming through the valley too, by the way. Yes, good idea to sit out on the sideline. <laughs> Who said we weren't at Atherton? Ball goes straight through the scrum. The referee says we're having it again. Yes, Bob said before the game, oh, we'll risk it. It'll be right. It won't get wet. And you went and sat on the sideline anyway. Sorry? And you went and sat on the sideline anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's simply on the stable side of the group.
back to 10 metres are Affett and Kavanagh uh, runs it up himself and is put to ground by Douglas just short of the halfway mark he plays the ball there uh, to Duck who runs across the field from dummy half slips a tackle by Broadley but can't get away from Spartan Blyton but he's made it into Affett and territory now he gets up and plays the ball at dummy half is Plum gets it out there to Aegis onto Penny out to Horsfall out in the back line he can't get away from Payne but he goes underneath once again a good tackle and goes to ground right in centre field on the halfway mark uh, over the top came Healy plays it there uh, to Sherby on it comes to Penny to Graham out to Volp comes back inside Volp and he's quickly put to ground there by Duncan and also Donnell plays it to Healy uh, sorry to Graham who comes across field and is put to ground by Healy over the halfway mark he goes now and it's on the sixth tackle where he plays it there to Kavanagh once again it comes on to this grandstand wing he gets away from the tackle there of Duncan stands in a tackle gets it back to Brown but Brown had nowhere to go whatsoever and on the sixth tackle he goes to ground midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark 20 points to five in favour of Atherton in favour of Brothers over Atherton and the scrum packing down on the grandstand side of the field. Payne feeding it in. Out it comes Payne's way and Cleghorn's knocked the ball on and it's our uh, Brothers in possession and it will be Volp who gets uh, ages who gets up and plays the ball there to Nader. On it comes to Smith straight up the centre. He's got away from Cleghorn and he makes another couple of metres too as he goes to ground and Larkin's tackle. Plays it to ages. On it comes on the grandstand wing there to Brown who is confronted there by plenty of defence. Broadly he got away from but he can't get away there from Moss. Plays it to Smith. On to ages to Penny. Gets a long one out there to Kavanagh. Ducks underneath the defence there off Smart but can't get away from the defence of uh, Duncan and also Healy. Plays the ball there to Shervy from Dummy Half. Makes another couple of metres before Broadley comes underneath to put him to ground. On the sixth tackle, he plays it to Kavanagh. On to Ages, out to Penny to Graham. He's got the port outside, can't get his hands free to get the pass away as Warren Larkin comes in to put him to ground on the quarter line. And uh, that's the sixth tackle. It's Brothers 20, Affett and five. That's the score at Parramatta Park. But Moss uh, going to ground on the sixth tackle. Midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark inside Brothers Territory. And the scrum going to pack down right in front of us on the grandstand side of the field. Age is fair to get in. And it's an Atherton ball as Payne gets the pass away quickly to Healy. On it comes to Ian Larkin. He bumps off two defenders there, Penny and also uh, Dale Graham, and goes to ground but and plays it to Warren Larkin. On to Healy, out to Payne. He's got uh, plenty of support outside but couldn't get the pass away and goes to ground the tackle there by Volpe. Plays it to Healy, who runs away from dummy half. Gets the pass back there to Martin, who couldn't hold it for a moment there. Eventually falls on it and uh, will play the ball on the quarter line there. Too broadly, who runs across field from dummy half. Makes another couple of 
metres and is half at only 20 metres out from the brother's line. Let's see if they can make a comeback here as he plays it to Moss on it comes to Payne. On to Smart who's uh, brushed off the tackle there of Penny. No he hasn't. Penny eventually clings to him and with the assistance there of Shervy they put him to ground. 15 metres out from the line he plays it to Payne. On the green stand side of the field it goes to Healy who steps off the left foot there and uh, gets one for his quarter too as the referee also awards a penalty there to Atherton and uh, Healy wasn't particularly impressed with the uh, head high one that he got and came in and gave plenty in return. Yes, yeah, so that was a very, very bad error by Kavanagh there and just as well the referee didn't see that because uh, Healy had uh, got rid of the ball, was going, you know, trying to break the defence and Kavanagh with, with a nice little short elbow right around the chops and uh, my goodness, I think Slattery might have seen him too and uh, he has too and uh, this could be a little bit of uh, back play here for Brothers because that was very, very blatant and Kavanagh made no attempt whatever to just get out of Healy's race. So it'd be interesting to see what referee Pete says here. Would have to be a penalty. Yes, yeah, so I think it's, well, it's got to well, be a penalty, penalty anyhow, isn't it? That's right. So, uh, as uh, referee Pete has a little bit of a chat with Laurie Kavanagh, uh, in the presence of Adrian Smith, the captain, and also uh, Slattery, the linesman, we'll just see what happens. Well, got, they've got the penalty, so uh, the, they can't do much more than that. And it's right back uh, around about uh, a metre out from the line. So Big John's going to come, John Blyton's going to take the tap and charge the line himself. But he's held up over the line and will play the ball uh, just uh, on the metre or so inside play. Plays it to Broadley on it, comes to Payne. He gets a pass away there to Healy. Gets a short one on to Duncan, but he goes to ground and plays it to Ian Larkin. On to Healy. He gets a pass away there to Payne, who steps off the right foot. Uh, tries to get back inside that offence there of ages. Can't do so. Gets up and plays the ball to Larkin. On it comes to Martin, charging onto the ball. Puts the head down. Try to duck under a tackle there of Kavanagh. Can't do so. Play it there to Smart. He clears it back a little bit too quickly there to Moss, who can't handle it. Knocked back to the referee as he immediately falls on it and has uh, also fallen on by ages. Plays it up broadly, 20 metres out to Blyton, on to Healy. Out it comes to uh, Larkin. He's got an overlap there. In Cleghorn, and Cleghorn goes back inside and is put to ground there uh, by the uh, the fullback Taylor and if he'd have possibly uh, been a little bit wider could have been a try on there brilliant tackle by Taylor there but a bad lapse in defence by Dale Graham he was in no man's land and a good pass from inside out and the backs and uh, as you said John Clegg would have been a little bit wider than he definitely would have scored in the corner and a penalty to Atherton so and there also a couple of punches thrown in that scrum again I tell you what there's a bit of needle coming into this game. Well, there's been needle there all the day, all the day but uh, it's really on boiling point at the moment. And tap taken there, and Payne gets up and plays the ball 10 metres out, plays it to Healy. He gets away a short pass there to Blyton, who is trying to get his hands free, can't do so. Plays it to Broadley 10 metres out. On it comes to Smart, puts the head down, and is uh, very, very close to the line, but goes to ground the tackle there by Kavanagh, and also in, uh, there was Horsfall. Plays it to Broadley. On it comes to Payne. He gets a short one away there to Martin. He throws it back to no one, and is picked up by Hayden. It's brothers in possession. He gets up and plays the ball there to Taylor as a bit of a run across field. It's put to ground there by Moss who tracked him across there and 20 metres out from his own line. Taylor gets up and plays the ball to Kavanagh. On the stable side of the field it goes there to Volpe who claps on the pace but is quickly confronted by Warren Larkin and drives him back eventually in that tackle as Blyton comes into a six. Kavanagh's at dummy half. Gives it away to Plum. Settling it down is Plum. Straight up the centre he goes and makes it to the quarter line before Moss comes in there with the assistance all also off Blyton to put him to ground. Plays the ball to Kavanagh, kicking for touch on the grandstand side of the field, and it's a beauty too. Goes into touch, five metres short of the halfway mark, and the scrum will, play, will come over here to uh, pack down, ten metres in from touch. It's uh, Brothers 20 leading Atherton 5, that's the score at Parramatta Park.
possession as Smith runs it across field inside his own quarter line, makes it out of the quarter line too, before he goes to ground the tackle there by Healy also, over the, underneath there was Martin, plays it to Penny onto Aegis, it gets it away to Shervy, straight up the centre goes Shervy and makes it to midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark inside his own territory and plays it to Kavanagh, kicking for touch once again on the grandstand side of the field and this time it's not going to go into touch but it goes deep down into the quarter line and Larkin has to take it out of his own quarter line, slips Kavanagh's tackle, runs across field but can't get away from Aegis and goes to ground midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark he plays it to Slaghorn who runs across field is confronted there by Smith and uh, didn't want anything to do with that one and goes to ground on the 10 metre mark he plays it there to Donnell out it comes there to Smart who goes straight up the centre and cops a right arm there from Plum for his troubles and the referee said it was a little bit high two miles and the penalty goes to Atherton and it's an opportunity now for them to drive play back into the brothers half it looked a little bit uh, more dangerous there oh the shocking looking kick there it goes into touch uh, just as well the wind's blowing that way I think <laughs> it was a wobbly looking kick from Val uh, Dale Healy but my goodness he's made good territory and out and back in another attacking position Cleghorn takes the tap midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark and brothers territory gives it away to Payne on to Healy out it comes to Larkin on to Ian Larkin straightening it up is uh, Ian Larkin the fullback uh, before he's put to ground there by Penny with the assistance of Volt plays it to Donnell who runs across field and as he tries to straighten up the movement he's put the ground there by Aegis with the assistance of Oswald at dummy half is Duncan gives it away to Douglas in from the wing who's doing a little bit of bullocking work there for the forwards makes it up to the quarter line before he goes to ground and Shervy's tackle at dummy half is broadly on the pane out it comes to Healy reversing it back inside to Warren Larkin but he can't get away from the defence there of Penny and Shervy he'll play it to broadly on the grandstand side of the field it comes to John Blyton he reverses it back inside to Duncan but he's put to ground and uh, he will play the ball inside the quarter line the tackle there with Smith, plays it up light and out the pass, comes to Healy, quick hands to Cleghorn, the Cleghorn can't bump off Taylor there and uh, he's put the, the touch uh, just inside the try line or just outside the try line and bring the little blindside movement there for Matherin and some good hands from Blyton and Healy to Cleghorn and my goodness the cover defence was there, he had no option but to try and score in the corner and three Bubbles defenders came across and knock him into touch but good attack by Atherton and uh, they're coming back strongly, Atherton, but uh, they're going to have to put points on the board pretty quickly, otherwise uh, there's no chance. A replacement player coming on, uh, Colin Mully. Uh, it is uh, four brothers. No, uh, says, says Dale Graham. We don't want you. Sent him back. So we've got another replacement. Looks like Short. Cole Short coming on. Penalty from the scrum goes to Atherton and uh, uh, it was incorrect feeding on that occasion by Mikhaja so the tap will be taken quickly there by Blyton gets it out quickly to Payne on to Healy he gets it away there dummies towards Larkin gets it to Warren Larkin but he's slung into the ground there by Volt 10 metres out from the brothers line a little bit of a melee going over there but uh, it's uh, played there by Healy as he goes for the line he's very close he's only a metre out before he's put the ground there a couple of players worrying about the fight and not the football gets up and plays the ball to Broadly there's an overlap over here in the grandstand side of he gets it away but Blyton is a quick put the ground there, slings it back, it's loose along the ground, it's picked up by Warren Larkin he comes the grandstand side of the field dummies towards his outside support and straightens it up himself, but goes to ground and pennies the tackle, plays it to Broadley this time it comes the grandstand side but it's too late, he gets away to Martin, back to Broadley, and he's uh, driven back in a tackle there by Nader, but will stand and uh, play it there, to Larkin, on it comes to Moss, a long one out to Payne, he gets a pass away to Ian Larkin, but uh, Larkin's got nowhere to go, as Volk comes underneath to put him to ground, he plays the ball to Payne, on it comes to Douglas in from his wing, Douglas uh, is very close to the line, slipped Adrian Smith's tackle, but can't get away from Shervy and that's the sixth tackle and the scrum will pack down five metres out from the line Dale Graham off the field being replaced by Cole Short and Ross Brown's gone into the centres I would imagine yeah. it's been some good attack there by Athens some equally brilliant defence by brothers and this is good football right, uh, ball out the same way the referee says we're going to have it in again Lustful conditions out here now. Look as though they're blown the way of their own, anyhow. So, take efforts for small mercies. It comes out Penny's way, but he's knocked it on as Payne came in there quickly to put him to ground. And the scrum's going to pack down once again, almost in the same position. How are the scrums? 11 8, John. 11 8. In favour of who? Atherton. Atherton. 
and there's a penalty from the scrum once again headbutting by the front row of uh, brothers and uh, that's the second time they've been penalized for that and the tap is quickly taken there by martin and he's very close to the line and the referee no he's uh, uh, said that he didn't quite make it he so he plays it to broadly out it comes to Payne. he gets quick hands out there to healy standing still with healy as he get it all, got it away to moss and moss uh, trying to straighten it up who will stand the tackle there by horse plays it to broadly on the grandstand side of the field it comes there to blight and gets it away to martin but he's slung into the ground there by taylor and will play it 15 meters out from the line plays it to duncan he goes to the grandstand side of the field once again but taylor's in there to put him to ground and with the assistance of, on that occasion of horseball he plays it to warren larkin on it comes from Payne. too smart he's very close to the line but he's not quite over once again and on the sixth tackle he get up and play it only a meter out from the line plenty of attack here by affett and as he plays it up broadly and broadly went himself and there's no room in there whatsoever and the, the play will come back to five meters out for the scrum from the sixth tackle good defense by brothers some uh, unimaginative play in the last two tackles there by Athens. they've been pressing that line now for at least 10 minutes and that's not being an exaggeration and uh, they've won the scrums as well they've had possession and penalties and they haven't been able to crack this good brothers defense Penny feeding the ball now for uh, Brothers. As it comes, uh, the cr scrum collapses, but it comes out Penny's way. But he's quickly slung to the ground there by his opposite number, Payne. He'll play the ball 10 metres out from the line there to Short. He'll have a run himself. He'd be pretty keen to get into the action. And he tries to bump off Ian Larkin there, but he can't do so as Duncan comes in with the assistance uh, to put him to ground. Plays it to Penny. Out it comes to Ages. A short one there to Plum, charging onto the ball. But broadly puts him to ground. A nice tackle underneath and Moss over the top. Just out inside the quarter line now. And brothers territory he plays it there from Kavanagh it goes to ages on to Brown he gets a short pass there to Smith who might have been a little bit forward but the referee was on the spot he gets it away there to Taylor who slipped the tackle there of Cleghorn but he can't get away from Broadley and also in there was Duncan midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark he plays it to Penny on to ages to Nader he's met heavily there by Smart and he'll stand in the tackle as uh, Blayton also comes in he plays it to Kavanagh on the grandstand side of the field it comes to ages he's got support there gets through Cleghorn's tackle gets it back inside the short he's got support in Taylor he just draws the fullback elementary gives it away to Taylor Douglas makes a belated effort to put him to ground but he's got too much pace and he goes across 10 metres in from touch let's listen to it again on action replay and he'll stand in the tackle as uh, Blayton also comes in he plays it to Kavanagh on the grandstand side of the field it comes to ages he's got support there gets through Cleghorn's tackle gets it back inside the short he's got support in Taylor he just draws the fullback elementary gives it away to Taylor Douglas makes a belated effort to put him to ground, but he's got too much pace and he goes across 10 metres in from touch. And the best try of the match and the brother supporters behind us have really got something to shout about because that was a brilliant 50 metre try made by Mick Ages who burst through the fence. Colin Short had come onto the field as a replacement for Dale Graham and taking the pass and setting up Taylor very, very well. Very, very, very good in the, in the play and uh, my goodness, that was a great try. And, uh, the uh, a couple of brothers players just asking us how much time to go and uh, just getting back to what I was saying John that time clock should definitely be working but uh, I think that's been one of the best tries we've seen for a period of time and well done by Mickey Ages good football I still repeat I think uh, brothers might be a little bit of aware of a weakness out here in Cleghorn's wing and they're certainly uh, shifting play over this side as much as possible yes I couldn't agree with you more they've definitely uh, used the, the side of the field and uh, more so here in the second half and uh, that really wasn't Cleghorn's fault he was in no man's land he had to take ages and ages virtually took two tacklers with him and good support there by short and uh, there's the kick unfortunately it's missed it's 23 points to five in favor of brothers now and uh, Mickey Nader being replaced here this afternoon he's had a pretty good game for brothers had a good game uh, Mick Nader you say it wasn't Cleghorn's fault but uh, I don't want to harp on it but uh, ages did go through his tackle and uh, you know I think I think that if I'd have been John Blight, I'd have replaced him a lot earlier than this, uh, to be quite honest. Yes, I could, could agree with you there. He hasn't had a big game. Half time at AFP in South. another uh, penalty to brothers and Mick uh, Volpe says that he'll kick for touch on the grandstand side of the field. A couple of replacements on the field uh, for brothers uh, Colin Mully is one <coughs> and uh, the other one is, uh, is uh, Barry Mully thanks very much brothers for giving us those reserves just as well we know them 
and uh, the second tap is taken there well, did well deep into Asset and it's two quarter line and it's uh, Kavanagh getting up and playing the ball only 10 metres out he gets up and plays it uh, to Colin Mully on at ages reversing at the grandstand side of the field once again as Short comes back in field and he's got nowhere to go there's plenty of defence in there and 10 metres out from the line he plays the ball there to Shervy and there's a gap a mile wide and he just rolls over puts it down and the Asset and players shake their head in disbelief and so do we Let's listen to it again. It wasn't exactly exciting, but it did happen. And 10 metres out from the line, he plays the ball there to Shervy. And there's a gap a mile wide. And he just rolls over, puts it down. The brothers now have notched up their sixth try. And Peter Shervy second. I thought it was interesting, Shervy sidestep there. There was no one to sidestep. <laughs> That's what I said, it was a little bit of a wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Peter Ducks missed the kick. It uh, goes to the right-hand side of the post. And... Well, that's the only thing that's keeping the uh, score a little bit respectable. Two easy kicks mixed, put, missed by Peter Duck, otherwise it would have been 30 points to five. 26-5, if you can call that respectable. And about five minutes of play remaining, I do believe. Oh, there's a bit more five minutes of play remaining. Kick off to be taken by Dale Healy. He gets it 10 metres this time. As it comes down there to Shervy, no, he's not going to take it. Taylor can't take it. It's picked up by Cleghorn, but the referee said he knocked it on initially. So the scrum's going to pack down 20 metres out from the line. Just as well he did knock it on too, because he was... Uh, home and hosed. Yes, he might have scored a, a face-saving try for himself. Yes. Might have 13 been. points to 11 in Sydney. Converted try to Cronulla. And uh, Payne's won the ball, gets a pass away to Healy. He dummies towards Larkin, gets it away to Ian Larkin. He bumps off Volpe, there's an overlap here. He gets it out to Donnell, out it goes to Douglas. And Douglas going for the uh, corner, but he can't get it over. Yes, he has got it over, says the referee. And that's a try, a comeback try as far as Affitton is concerned, but it's much too late. Let's listen to it again. And uh, Payne's won the ball, gets a pass away to Healy. He dummies towards Larkin, gets it away to Ian Larkin. He bumps off Volpe, there's an overlap here. He gets it out to Donnell, out it goes to Douglas. And Douglas going for the uh, corner but he can't get it over good effort and good to see them still fighting back even though they uh, they were hopeless after the first versus the first two tries to score in the opening six minutes of the game but here comes dale Healy's kicked it oh my goodness he's been uh, practicing that rubber kick from the kickoff yes i reckon my son could have kicked that one as far but it's a shocking attempt at a conversion by dale Healy. so it's 26 points to eight with only in my opinion john about three minutes to go 26 8 26 8 yes. eight right Kick off to be taken by McAge's kicking for the grandstand side of the field and uh, decides not to take any risks and lobs it deep down into the quarter line of Atherton. Moss goes back inside his own goal line to uh, pick it up, makes it out to the quarter line before the Mully boys, uh, Colin and Barry, combine to put him to ground. He gets up and plays the ball there to Larkin. Ian Larkin, excuse me, running away from dummy half. Makes a couple of metres and goes to ground in the uh, tackle there of Penny. Plays it up broadly onto Martin. He's had a good game, Martin, today. He's done plenty of work and shown a little bit of uh, willingness to take the ball up. Makes it up to the quarter line, goes to ground there in a tackle by uh, Miles Plum. He gets up and plays the ball to broadly. Out it comes uh, to Healy, who kicks for touch on the grandstand side of the field and finds it to uh, just short of the halfway mark, a metre or so short. And the uh, scrum will pack down in that position, 10 metres in from touch on the grandstand side of the field. Payne to feed the ball in for Atherton. And I wonder if they can get another try back uh, to make it a little bit more respectable as the ball's fed in by Payne. And it's taken out by Aegis. And he immediately settled for that wing that we're talking about. And it comes out to uh, Aegis' way this time. And it's Short who takes it. He bumps off Payne. One of the few times that that's happened in the game. Gets the pass away there to Penny. He's got the port outside. And Brown quick hands out the vault. He gets it out to Duck. Duck with a bit of room to move up the touchline. He goes. He's got away from Warren Larkin. But he's uh, put the ground there uh, by a good tackle by Ian Larkin. On the quarter line inside Atherton Territory. And that was good quick thinking as far as the uh, brother side were concerned. They threw the ball out to that wing very, very quickly. They knew Douglas was off the field and uh, to date there hasn't been, hasn't been a replacement come on. That's true and good effort by Short then from the base of the scrum, uh, nowhere to go, pushed off a couple of tackles and started the movement off. Uh, very strong young chap and a uh, very able replacement for Dale Graham. Right and uh, the penalty from the scrum, no, the referee says we're just going to have it in again. Pretty versatile player, Short, he played front row for the under 20 side, he played fullback at first grade last year and he's playing on the wing here today. It's a uh, brother's ball as Aegis gets a pass away there to Duck who looks for support but no one coming through and he goes to ground 20 metres out from the line. He gets up and plays the ball there to Taylor up at dummy half, on it comes to Steve Penny, a little field goal attempt and I tell you what, it's good, it's good, <laughs> straight over the black dot, a little bit, a little bit wobbly but it uh, was effective. 
And that's just adding insult to injury. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. He had a back line versus line out there, and I thought Steve with the acceleration would have passed the ball. He's just plonked a little field goal, as John said, straight over the middle. And a one-pointer, which makes it 27 points to eight. And that is an insult to injury, and I don't think, uh, you know, the, um, what can I say? That which is unreal. Right, kickoff taken by Healy. It's taken there uh, by Shervey. He's had a good game. That gets through plenty of work, Shervey. Makes it almost up to the halfway mark before he goes to ground and Moss's tackle. Gets up and plays it to Kavanagh. On it comes to A. Just gives it away there uh, to Barry Mully. And he's up over the halfway mark before he goes to ground. And a tackle by Healy. Gets up and plays it to Kavanagh. On to Penny. Gives it a short one there to Cole Mully. Up over the halfway mark. He goes again. But he only makes a couple of metres as Payne goes underneath to put him to ground. Gets up and plays it to Kavanagh. On to Penny. Quick hands to A just out it comes to Volt. He's got support outside there. Got too much pace there for Martin. Comes back inside. Can't get away. Cleghorn in there to put him to ground. On the 10 metre mark he plays it to uh, Taylor. Running across field from dummy half. Is tracked across there by Duncan and put to ground midway between the quarter line and the halfway mark. Plays it on the six tackle there to Kavanagh who tries to get away from Donnell. Gets the pass away there to Ages. He throws it back to anyone. It's a uh, bounced off a Appleton player and regathered there by Ages. Six more tackles says the referee as he plays it to Penny. On it comes from Mully to Shervey. Out it comes to A, just reversing it back inside to Short. Gets it away to Taylor and he can't handle it. Loose along the ground. Eventually dies for it, but the referee said it's a knock-on and also the siren in the background sounds full-time. So it's brothers into the grand final and Atherton have to...